Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is your mid-month reading for August. We are moving from Leo season, the sun, vitality and joy, into Virgo season, the hermit, contemplation and wisdom, the major arcana for Leo, the major arcana for Virgo. I think maybe, you know, working with these energies really strongly, the sun is rules Leo. So it's this sense of vitality and joy coming through, wanting to connect you to that. That's the divine masculine. But then we move into the beautiful divine feminine of the little koala, just finding that place of respite, that place, that sanctuary that you can go back in and connect into a place that feels like you're connecting into your divine wisdom, that feels like you can have a big think about some things. And so that while you do that, you're regenerating and then you can go out into the world again and have the vitality and joy like the beautiful hummingbird. So it's about managing your energy and getting that balance right between the divine masculine and the divine feminine is going to be something that could really um, work in your favour, could really be great for your health. So... Yeah, let's see what's shifting and changing. We do have the new moon in Leo on the 16th, and that is when the sun is squaring Uranus. So this could be big dramatic changes that are happening around that time. So let's see what else is coming through. What's shifting and changing for Aries? Oh, too much there. A lot perhaps, but too much for that. I just want a, a shorter message. What's shifting and changing for Aries? So there's a lot of fire around. There's also a lot of earth. So we're working with that. The sun at the moment and in the new moon energy is actually going to be trining a lot of the beautiful like Chiron and Aries energy, the north node in Aries. So there's this sense of the sun um, giving you an injection of power and energy. So being able to use that and work with that wisely is actually a really lovely energy for you guys, Aries. So the cards are not jumping what is shifting and changing finally okay so more leo coming out for you so definitely going to be working very strongly with this energy strength leo okay strength card leo the sun and pluto and we see the key is unlocking something this is a journey venus is in retrograde at this moment in leo she's journeying through the underworld in her retrograde cycle so we have pluto there the planet of uh birth death and rebirth underworld but with the she's being in leo these leo energies are being unlocked within her in this um, underworld space and that is a sense of coming back to her heart and coming back to your authentic self and allowing those energies to transform coming into your um, sovereignty being the strength card and understanding how strong you are, really. So we've got, um, yeah, wow, well, Justice, Venus, Libra, Saturn, and 1, 6, Jupiter, Leo. You've got virtually, you know, most of the Leo cards that can come out. So definitely working well. Being another fire sign, I think that that's going to work really well. The sun is exalted. It rules Leo, but it's exalted in your sign. So this is a really great time for you guys, Aries. It's very revitalizing, which is fantastic. Justice, contracts, Venus, Libra, Saturn, contractual agreements, legalities, things that haven't been fair, things that have been out of balance, and 1-6 Jupiter Leo successfully rebalancing some energies where they've been out of balance or successfully getting a contract of some sort or rebalancing things within a contract. Or if you're waiting for some kind of legal decision or legal battle, this is the card of success. Um, but it's kind of interesting as well because the Jupiter energy wants to expand the Leo energies that are going through this birth, death and rebirth energy. That is the light within you that wants to shine out into the world to express itself and to see itself being seen and validated through the world. And it's about, like I said, stepping into your own leadership, stepping into your sovereignty, being the lion, the king of the jungle. And so this justice energy is saying that potentially there's an Akashic record agreement around I mean, this is your opposite sign, Libra. The south node is in Libra. So potentially it's about releasing some of that old karma when it comes to relationships and things that have been out of balance with relationships and then coming back to yourself and allowing the authentic self to shine. So, yeah, there's lots happening for you, Aries, absolutely. Um, but it just actually feels like such positive light. It feels like 
just a positive strength of energy, like golden light, golden energy, like the sun in full force. It just feels amazing, this this um, energy. So there could be a little bit of clearing up and cleaning out of relationship stuff here, but that's where we get that balance between the hermit and you know, you're going back into your contemplation and divine wisdom and then coming out revitalized again after having kind of gained a, a bit of perspective or having a bit of processing time. So let's see what else is coming through for you, Aries. Let's see what else is coming in. And just as we're talking about the sun, like it's, this is supposed to be the middle of winter here and it feels hot. It feels, it's definitely a change of season. It feels like spring, even summer. So the sun is shining super hot. Um, the heat is on, absolutely. So let's see what else is coming through for Aries. I've just got to get the right frequency of Aries into the cards. And the other thing they want me to say is that your planetary ruler, Mars, is actually very strong at this moment in time. It's um, making a beautiful conjunction with Mercury, so the planet of communication, and it's trining, making this Earth trine to Jupiter and Uranus and Pluto, the planet of transformation. We're seeing here Pluto coming in. So a lot of themes of birth, death, rebirth. Here you are turning up as the king of wands. Of course you are turning up as yourself. Who else? The ace of pentacles. My God, who else would you want to turn up as? The ace of, that's what this energy is, of Venus in the underworld really discovering, ooh, the, her own power. The ten of cups, absolutely. Oh, wow, Aries. My goodness. Oh, and the sun, I didn't think it could get any better. And the two of swords, Wow. Wow. Okay, big stuff happening, big changes, big faded energies around for you. So, but wow, this is one of the best outcomes I have seen for a long time, Aries. So this is fantastic. Okay, five of wands, this is potentially like a, a challenging situation or there's been a challenge to kind of test your skills and abilities. This could be a competitive arena or situation that you find yourself in, but there's a sense that, you, yeah, you're being challenged to um, your skills and abilities are being challenged here. Crossed by the Knight of Wands. So it for some of you this might not necessarily feel like a positive change or it might feel like... You're not ready to move forward yet, but um, maybe you're not feeling super confident enough yet. But I feel like, you know, you're getting that confidence, you're gaining it. That's coming through here. In your conscious mind, you've got the world. And this is a sense of um, big major endings that are coming through with the world. Um, there's definite completion, like things need to complete, things need to be finished. There might be sort of like deadlines that are happening here with this. Um, but, yeah, I just get these kind of restrictions and re re completions and this is Saturn coming in. So you've potentially had to put in a lot of hard work with something, but it's... Um, yeah, it's kind of nearing or getting close to sort of completion energy that's coming through with the world card. So that is also a sense of celebration that a cycle is nearing the end or getting close to like a a point where it's ready, it's time. And so you might even be getting ready to d dive into something really fulfilling here. Um, speaking of what's happening deep down, so you've got a lot of um, a couple of major arcanas around which is showing that these are big shifts of energies around. We've got the temperance energy, which is the card of Sagittarius, the major arcana. And this is where you're working with new elements in your life. And potentially this is what the testing of the waters is or the testing of the new situation or the testing of your abilities. Just kind of working with new energies, new people, new situations. And so dipping that toe in and you know there is a sense of sovereignty the path leads to the crown and so that that is like you are aligning to things that are connect you to your power and your sovereignty but it's just like with the temperance energy it's about understanding that the patience may be required with it the elements are starting to flow and it wants to restore some sort of balance and harmony in your world which is actually really lovely in the recent past, we've got the Three of Cups. So this kind of feels like there's been some sort of really nice connection or celebration or an event of some sort that has been significant of late. So, and I feel like this is even like, you know, got something to do with uh, having to get a little bit more confident with a situation or something that you're presenting or a version of you you're presenting to the world. 
Um, so in the near future, we've got the death card because it feels like these are all the ingredients of transformation that, um, you know, you, you're kind of gathering your strength, you're getting your courage here, you're getting more confident with something. Something's kind of getting, reaching a completion level where it feels like, okay, it's time you've put in the work or you're putting in the work and you're about to kind of um, step into something that um, you find out what those results are. And so ultimately what it is is is, is major cycles of birth, death and rebirth that are coming in with the death card and major change is coming through. So, and you're presenting as the king of wands. So this is the card of Aries, the king of fire. So you're turning up as yourself. That's the thing. It's it's like I'm, I'm turning up as myself. I might not necessarily be super confident or I might not have the experience or I might not be used to working with these different types of elements in my life. But at the same time, I'm just turning up and seeing where the universe takes me. And I think that that seems really important. And so there is this sense of authenticity that the world is potentially seeing you for who you are or more of who you are, which is really important. Your world could be shifting and changing and people's perception of you could be shifting and changing. Energy surrounding you, the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a very solid opportunity uh, uh, that starts up in front of you that the, this testing situation, you know, that could lead to something, a very tangible open door, a new cycle begins. So this is the really the start of something quite significant here. Um, it's the start, you know, it's the ace. We don't know where it's going to go, but you look at these three aces. You've got the ace of pentacles, you've got the ace of cups, and you've got the ace of wands. So definitely there are some very exciting new beginnings coming in for you. And this is the sense of it's the birth that comes in after this transformation. So it might not even be like it's kind of almost like You've done the work, you've completed the you've completed the work that's needed, you've gone through the transformation and now you're coming out the other side and these amazing opportunities and things are birthing. You're going through the birth cycle. Um, so with the aces, this ace of cups quite literally is the card of birth. But it's emotional birth. It's it's joy, happiness, healing. It's feeling very differently about something. So, and, you know, the good news is that you've got the two cards of happiness next to the ace of fire, the ace of wands. So the eight, ten of cups is the card of happiness. The, the sun is happiness, clarity, breakthroughs, vitality, joy. And the ace of wands is like, you know, this is, again, the start of something that you really, really, want that this is like feels very spiritually connected to you it's your fire it's your passion it's your creativity it's your spirit going yes this is the rebirth this is the the phoenix rising the kundalini rising and it, it comes with this sense of yeah the, there's something really happy birthing with this as well there's something really clear it might even feel like a breakthrough that there's you're being re-energized so you know, this is a fantastic reading, Aries. It really is amazing. And we have, strangely, as an overall energy, the Two of Swords. And this is where this can be a very Libra energy. You are crowned by Libra here with the Justice card. And this is kind of where there are potentially some things that you still can't see or you might be a little bit uncertain about or unsure about. And, you know, that's pretty normal with this very dynamic energy that's coming in and the sense that you're being tested here with the five of wands in some way. But I feel like this is where you pass the test. And um, even though there's the uncertainty certainty around this, it seems like, you know, there's a journey into the underworld with the death card, the transformation that's occurring here. But you come out the other side, it's very, very reassuring with that ten of cups, the ace of wands and the sun card. <laughs> so, I mean, that that's just the best outcome. Um, let's have a look at what is coming in for your affirmation card. We've got, I deserve the best and I accept the best now. Absolutely. I'm mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good. And that's what you're doing with that Ace of Wands. You know, there's really good things around you. The Ten of Cups is happiness. And the sun card is vitality and joy. And you're like, I'm claiming this. I'm, I want this. So, yeah, <laughs> let's pull a charm for you, Aries. Let's pull a charm. I think there's two that have come out. Yes, we've got the key. Okay, so something is being unlocked. And we have the turtle, which is something that is really good for your soul. The turtle swims in the ocean. It feels at home there. It's feeling very emotionally 
fulfilled. It feels emotionally safe. There's something that's being un unlocked. And it's interesting because we have the little glyph that represents the birth, um, the cycles the inside the, the key. That represents the cycles, that there's this continuous flow between birth, death and rebirth. And it's kind of something's being unlocked here around those themes. And it's about that beautiful turtle of coming back to the ocean, coming back to home, coming back to the source, coming back to something that's really fulfilling and good for your soul. And so this, and you, and you, you know, you can swim. Of course you can swim. You're at home here. So in these emotions and in this place, it could be really creative energy for you as well, some of you. But yeah, it's um, such a beautiful <laughs> energy, Aries. So that's it. Good things on the horizon by the looks of this reading. Absolutely. So that's your reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comment and take care.